Over the past century, the world has experienced a rise in global temperature, directly associated with increased carbon dioxide emissions. In seeking to reduce these emissions, countries have committed to adopting urgent measures to combat climate change and its effects as part of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. The maritime industry has also joined global initiatives to reduce the carbon footprint and the Panama Canal is a main player. The Panama Canal has a multiple choice in, that is helping the environment. The first one is the watershed. We realize that it's necessary to make process of conservation and also reforestation in the watershed. That helps all the environment. And for example, Panama as a country is a carbon neutral. What this means that Panama reduce more emissions by the forest that the country emits. Besides its commitment to long-term sustainability by protecting the oceans, the watershed and its biodiversity, the Panama Canal is also working together with its customers to meet maritime decarbonization targets. We are focusing new projects and the operations to look forward how we can enter in the decarbonization process. To do what? to align with our customers, with our clients that are getting more efficient vessels, are analyzing all the decarbonization and how they will adapt to this new regulation from IMO and also to the Paris Agreement. One of the most recent initiatives is the launch of the CO2 emissions dashboard, through which monthly data will be published on emissions from ships that chose to transit through the canal in comparison to the most likely alternative route. Because it is the shortest maritime route, Using the Panama Canal represents the most environmentally friendly option, known as the Green Wrap. In 2020, the Panama Canal contributed to the reduction of more than 13 million tons of CO2 emissions, compared to alternative routes such as the Suez Canal, Cape Horn, or Cape of Good Hope. To get an idea of what this means, 13 million tons of CO2 is equivalent to the greenhouse gas emissions of 2.8 million passenger vehicles driven during one year this tool helps contribute to the maritime industry's sulfur reduction strategy as part of urgent actions to fight climate change and its impact. The maritime community is already adopting several measures and regulations in search of a better balance with the environment, and some of these initiatives are quite innovative. The Energy Observer is an example of these innovations. The boat recently transited through the Panama Canal as part of a world tour that began four years ago to test the use of renewable technologies. Energy Observer is a boat that works 100% with renewable energies. So the aim of this ship is to go around the world without emitting any CO2 or fine particles or sound. That's also very important because marine traffic emits a lot of sound, so for the marine life it's quite um, disturbing. The boat works with solar energy, with wind power and also with hydrogen. So we're really 100% autonomous, even at night time or when we have bad weather. During its transit through the waterway, the Panama Canal awarded the Energy Observer the Green Connection Award for its commitment to contribute to a sustainable energy transition and using the Panama Canal Green Route. When we make a benchmarking about uh, decarbonization and emissions, we look that all the major companies in all the world are looking the decarbonization process. What it means that they are getting new technologies, make, making research and development, and also making a, a digital transformation in their process. Why? To reduce emissions, but also to be more efficient. The focus and the key that the, most of the customers are looking, and also the Panama Canal, is to be more efficient. In that way, we will adapt more for the regulations and will reduce more emissions. So when we started four years ago, the marine industry was um, slightly laughing at us. <laughs> um, but uh, two years ago, they started to have an interest in what we were doing. And uh, now we actually have CMA-CGM, uh, CMA um, which is a big marine company who is one of our sponsors. And uh, so we really hope that we are having an impact and changing, changing sorry, the way the marine industry is uh, seeing their future. The objective of all those who are part of the maritime industry, including shippers, ports, and transportation facilitators such as the Panama Canal, 
is to reduce total annual greenhouse gas emissions by at least 50% during the next 30 years. And the different initiatives promoted by the canal in alliance with its customers, as well as in the sustainability of its operations, are moving in this direction.